I feel good, man. You know, um, it was a good fight, good performance. Uh, still some things to take away and learn from it. So, you know, we're going to get back to training, uh, get back to improving so, uh, you know, I can keep on whooping people's ass. What was the reaction after you, you you know, I guess flipped the bird a little bit to the to the fans there in Paris? What was the reaction well, once you left the octagon? Um, well, like, when I got out, like, I mean, on the way to the tunnel, they, they were definitely throwing stuff at us and, you know, making all sorts of gestures and saying all sorts of things. But um, actually outside, you know what I'm saying? It was pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? I think uh, the people, they just uh, appreciated the fight. They appreciated the performance. Um, and they, they appreciated the theatrics. They appreciated that I, you know, gave them something to get invested into. You know what I mean? Is it fun going at a hostile territory like that? You seem like you embrace it. Nah, I, I mean, I, my thing is energy, period. I love energy, period. But, um, like, that was special. You know what I'm saying? Like, that crowd was special, just period. But then, um, you know, getting them riled up, that was that was a lot of fun. You know what I mean? Um, that was, I don't know, they got louder than they got <laughs> booing me the entire night. It was, it was a really an incredible experience. So, you know, uh, yeah, no, I'm always down to go into enemy territory. You know what I mean? It's a vibe. I'm not sure if that was your first time in Paris, but what did you just think of the experience going over there? Paris was cool, man. Um, you know, um, you know, it's it's funny because the whole time people were like, "Yeah, I, I I know you love and fighting in Paris. You must be having, you know, it, it's tough when you have a job to do. So you know, it's like I spent most of the trip just looking at Paris from a hotel window. You know what I mean? But um. The little bit I did get to do, the little bit I got out to do was uh, a lot of fun. Paris was definitely a vibe. It wasn't what I thought it was going to be. It wasn't what I thought it was going to be, but it was cool. The people were cool. The food was good. You know what I mean? Uh, I learned a little bit of French, so it was a good time. You go in there, you make a statement. Who's next? You got to I know you want to fight somebody in the rankings. I'm looking at them right now. Is there somebody you have your mind on, your mindset on? Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm not looking at anyone. I'm looking at everyone. You know what I'm saying? It's one through 15. They can all get it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, you know, I'm not going to waste my time getting invested too much into someone when people are so likely to turn me down. You know what I mean? So um, they'll send me a name. And when they send me a name, then I'll go take care of business. But, um, you know, um, I'm not looking at them. They need to be looking at me. You know what I mean? But in your mind, it should be somebody in the rankings now. I mean, it should be. I I feel comfortable fighting any of those guys, beating any of those guys in the rankings. Um, but with that being said, you know, I get paid to fight, so I'm trying to fight. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to sit around and wait for a fight in the rankings to come around. I just want to fight, period. We're, we, we're in October now. What What's the time, time frame? Would you try to get another one in before the end of the year or beginning of next year? Um, ideally one more before the end of the year, but, um, uh, beginning of next year would be fine too, but I would love to squeeze one in, uh, before December is done with USC Tampa looks like a, a nice card for me, but you know, we'll see what happens. What do you think about this weekend? It's another good card. The light heavyweight title. Who do you, who do you see? Who do you like on that one? Roundtree or, or Pereira? No, nah, that's a great fight. Um, I like, I still like Pereira. I think Pereira is a little bit longer. Um, but, you know, Roundtree, he can definitely connect. And you know what I'm saying? Like, Pereira is still a human. You know what I'm saying? It's easy to forget that sometimes, but he's still a human. So uh, if Roundtree connects with that power, it could be a problem. But I still got Pereira winning this fight. Isn't it crazy that Pereira is this massive guy and he wants to potentially go up to heavyweight? Not too long ago, you and him were in the same weight class. You've gone down one. He's gone up one. Might go up another one. <laughs> you look at that and like, wow, we, we could have crossed paths. Nah, I was definitely um he was someone where I was like, Oh wow, he's a middleweight. I need to hit the weights a little bit harder. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I was like, wow, that guy's that guy's big. Yeah, Cause I wasn't a small middleweight either. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, so like I was a pretty decent sized middleweight. And um uh yeah, middleweight, he was cause like he was coming into the fights weighing like 220 pounds or something like that. Like he was really like, I don't even know how we did it, to be honest with you. But, um, no, nah, it would have been – that would have been interesting. Yeah, we we were in the middleweight um, middleweight division at the same time. So, that would have been – that would have been crazy. That would have been a crazy matchup. 
welterweight where you are to stay for the foreseeable future? Yeah, for the foreseeable future. But I do, at some point when I'm done with welterweight, I wouldn't mind getting a couple fight, more fights in middleweight. I feel like I'm getting bigger. I'm getting stronger. You know, I'm starting to get my grown man body more and more. I'm 30 now. So, um, yeah, definitely a move up to middleweight. Um, we'll be on the cards one day, but not anytime soon. Last thing for you, message to the, the rest of the welterweights out there. Message to the rest of the welterweights. I mean, it's my time coming. You know what I'm saying? I'm here now. Um, and, you know, I know they all know who I am. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a matter of time. You know what I mean? If you keep on winning and you're trying to get to the top, then um, our paths will cross eventually. And I'm looking forward to it.